here we are asking Allah for cure, but there's a better way of asking. I said, oh Allah, grant me cure. But the better way is, oh owner of cure, grant me cure. Ya Shafi, Allahumma Shafi, Anta Shafi. Oh Allah, grant cure. You are the curer. You are the owner of cure. That's a better way. Why? Because I'm acknowledging that Allah is the owner. He is the one. Oh Allah, Ar Razak. Oh Allah, the owner of sustenance, grant me sustenance. It's a better way of supplicating. So I'm just trying to show you that there's a way of doing things, but there's a better way. This is not wrong, but this is better. Learn the names, attributes of Allah, the qualities. What is it you're asking Allah? I'm asking him forgiveness. Oh, owner of forgiveness, grant me forgiveness. Ghafoor, Ghaffar, Tawab, all these are names connected to the forgiveness that Allah gives. Tawab, the one who oft forgives all the time, he accepts the repentance. Tawab, Ghaffar, one who forgives often, time and again, over and over again. Ghaffar. So the names and qualities of Allah are very, very important. When you want to ask for cure, you say you speak about a Shafi, the curer. Okay, that's amazing. Similarly, if you take a look at the supplications that are made in the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ or in the Quran, a lot of the times you will find beautiful names and qualities of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Unfortunately, today we don't know the names, and at times. Even if we know them, we don't use them. To know the qualities of Allah is one thing, but use those names. Use them. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. Forgive me. Oh Allah, this is who you are. This is what you, you've promised. Oh, this, these are your qualities. You are the, the strongest. Grant me strength. Oh Allah, you are the protector. Protect me. You are the giver. Give me. And so on. 